Saudi Arabia has many economic freedoms and many social restrictions, especially for women. Saudi women are legally disadvantaged and they are still not permitted to drive. For conservative Saudi men, equality for women is anathema. Our religion forbids women to show their faces in public. It's difficult and dangerous for them to drive with a veiled face. So there's also a safety aspect. It's too dangerous, and there's nothing but trouble on the street. Harassment, kidnapping, rape. <laughs> you know, they're all so ridiculous. I mean, there isn't an argument. You know, you're talking about basic human rights, and there's no argument that, that I even answer to. I mean, I just laugh, and I think they're a joke, you know, but they're nothing to answer to. You cannot answer to anybody uh, that deprives you from your basic human rights. Well, what are you going to say? Madia al adrush is a psychologist and photographer and Saudi Arabia's most prominent women's rights activist. Today, she's meeting two students who are filming a documentary about their idol. Saudi women are battling old traditions that are being upheld today by ultra-conservative religious authorities. It has to do everything with controlling women's movement and mobility. And uh, women right now are saying enough. October 18, 2013, the video of Al Adrush driving a car went around the world. She says, I drove for the first time in 1990, and today, 23 years later, I've never had a problem. How much longer should we put up with this? Friday prayers. All is quiet on the street. Shops must close. Islam is the state religion, and the Saudi version is especially conservative. The Saudi Wahhabi sect is considered by many to be similar to that of the Taliban in Afghanistan. Women must be completely covered from head to toe. There have been some changes, but they've come at a snail's pace. We visit one of the few vocational colleges for women. Women's integration into the world of work and their contact with men outside the family is frowned upon. The students, too, are still getting used to the idea. A teacher in, in, in school, but this is their most dreams, their, their, their maximum, yeah? But we're trying to make them understand that that's not enough. I mean, you should go there, work in the lab, and try to work with people. So what? I mean, cover up, and that's it. Okay, eight. Just a few years ago, it would have been practically unthinkable for women to be in public without a male guardian. And the students here want to work. Not correct. False. All women, they able to achieve your uh, dreams, and they have abilities also. Their uh, works is not. To, their works are not to stay at home. We return to Madiha al Adrush, who is showing the documentary makers some of her photographs. They are large format, usually staged and mainly about women. In this one, a woman runs out of her house into freedom. They've got a very strong, solid history. We don't have that. And we're maturing and we're growing and we're becoming more and more sophisticated, but we still have a long way to go. And she's just to punish Al Adrush, <laughs> officials confiscated and burned thousands of her photographs. She started over with this new cycle of works. The men are dancing and free, the women are silent and withdrawn. A protest against injustice. One of Al Adrush's friends also filmed herself in the driver's seat. Other drivers give her the thumbs up. Madiha al Adrush believes that within a generation, the ban on women drivers in Saudi Arabia will be history.